how to solve Excel problems with ChatGPT in consulting. Hi, my name is Janis Niari and welcome to this channel. Welcome to Mastering Consulting. On this channel, I want to help you to learn the necessary skills that you need for your first years in consulting. And today, I want to talk about how to solve Excel problems with ChatGPT. If you don't know what ChatGPT is, then check out some of my previous videos where I talked about what ChatGPT is, how it changes the consulting industry, and I also talked about some very valuable use cases for management consultants that you can solve with ChatGPT or where you can use ChatGPT. But today, I want to talk about how to work in Excel with ChatGPT. I made a video about how to program macros, uh, macros with ChatGPT, but today I want to talk a little bit more how to actually build some Excel formulas with this tool. So, of course, working with Excel is very important in consulting because we do a lot of analysis and typically in consulting, we do that in Excel. So knowing all of the basic functions and functionalities of Excel is really, really important. I always say this is one of the most essential um, skills that you need to have if you want to make it in the industry. Nevertheless, ChatGPT really, really, really is a game changer because, it's, because it helps you to even develop complex formulas without being the complete Excel pro. And today I want to show you how to do that. So if you've never worked with um, ChatGPT before, it's very simple. So there is a website where you can go to, sorry, it's uh, chatopenai.com slash chat. And there you have this chat interface that you can use where you can ask ChatGPT some questions. And if you want to work with Excel and ChatGPT, then it's very simple. You have an Excel problem or a problem that you want to work with Excel and you just try to formulate the problem in ChatGPT, then ChatGPT will give you an answer and will make a suggestion for the formula that you can use. And this formula you can um, copy, then paste into Excel. Then you, in most cases, you have to adjust it a little bit and then you're good to go and you have your solution. And I experimented a little bit with it and I found you know, that there are some use cases where it's really, really good. Some cases, you know, it's a bit more problematic, but I want to show you two examples that I found to be um, very suitable for ChatGPT. So let's see if you could program this formula. So let's take a look at the following problem. So here we have an email um, ad address and the task is to find a formula that it extracts the name from the email address below and capitalize the letters. So here we have the email address maxmusterman at emaildomain.com and we want to have Max Mosterman in this uh, in another, another cell and both names, so the uh, name and the surname, we want to have this capitalized. So the big question now is, would you know how to solve that? And I tried to do it myself, but you know, it took me quite some time to figure it out. And then I just tried, you know, to do it with ChatGBT. And interestingly, ChatGBT gave a pretty good answer. So um, what I did was that I went to ChatGPT and I asked um, uh, the tool to give me a formula. So I asked, okay, please write an Excel formula that extracts name and surname, that capitalizes name and surname in an email. So I wrote here uh, above that, you know, I have an email address in the following way. And then I asked to ex uh, extract name and surname and capitalize name and surname. And then it gives me this formula and ChatGPT even explains the formula. So down here, it talks about, you know, how the different components of the function work. And it gives me a little bit of background why this is useful. And then I just tried, you know, to use the formula and surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, the formula was right. So what I did was to copy the formula, then I plugged it into Excel. And if we take a look at the Excel formula, then you see that it actually worked. So I just copied the formula in it. I had to adjust it a little bit, but it was basically the same formula that ChatGPT gave me. Since I use the German version of Excel, I had to make some adjustments so that I have some semicolons instead of uh, commas uh, as a separator. But basically this formula works and you see that it's a combination of a proper left and substitute and find function. So this is not easy stuff, okay? And you know, it only took me a minute to send a request to ChatGPT and ChatGPT gave me the solution. So this is very, very powerful because think about it, you know, before ChatGPT, you know, how much time you would have uh, needed in order to figure out how to build this formula, especially if you are not, you know, the biggest bro in Excel. But let's take, at, uh, let's take a look at the second example. 
So here I have the following problem. The task is to find a formula that puts every word in a single cell and then transposes it vertically. So you see that in this cell we have a sentence. How can I solve this issue? And what I want to have is that each word is in a different cell and then I want to have it transposed vertically, so down in a column. And again, I you know, try to figure it out myself and to be very honest, uh, I couldn't really solve it because it was really, really complicated. And then I went to ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT to create a formula in order to solve this um, issue. And if you take a look again at my request, then I asked ChatGPT that, you know, I have in cell B a, a several words in a cell and I asked to write a formula that puts every word in a separate uh, cell in a column. And then, you know, again, it gave me a formula. It's this formula and again, it's quite complicated and give, gave me a little bit of um, background about the formula so that I would knew, uh, know, you know, how this formula works. And then I experimented with it and I tried to plug it into, um, into Excel. And if we take a look at it, then you see that again, this formula worked. So I have this formula now here and you see that this is again, exactly the formula that uh, ChatGPT gave me and it actually worked. So I had to use this uh, formula, then I had to copy it down and like this, and then it worked. And it's really cool because this is a very, very complicated formula where you use trim, mid, substitute, wrap, you know, row, very, very complex formula. And to be very honest, although I would consider myself to be quite good in Excel, it would have taken me a long time to figure this out myself. And with ChatGPT, you know, this is really, really fast how you can do that. So this is how you use ChatGPT if you want to work with Excel and use ChatGPT. And I also experimented a little bit with different use cases, but I have to say that there are also some limitations. So let's talk a little bit about when you can use ChatGPT for Excel problems and when you maybe you know should do it yourself. So I think ChatGPT is very, very good, especially if you have some data preparation tasks or you know some very complex formulas that refer to one cell. So for me, it was very easy, like, you know, the examples we had where I have in one cell a complex problem where I want to refer to. And then I asked ChatGPT to create a formula where, you know, it solves this kind of complex problem. And especially in the context of data preparation, I found it to be very, very useful. There were also some things, you know, where um, ChatGPT struggled a little bit, especially uh, when I tried to, you know, set up some complex models. So I tried to do a uh, DCF calculation with Excel and with ChatGPT. This didn't really work out. I also tried to uh, do some, you know, financial analysis with it. And I also tried to do some things like, you know, uh, building an index match, uh, match function or something like that. And if it gets, you know, a bit more complex, if we talk about financial modeling, if we talk about, uh, you know, more complex references to several cells, then, you know, there are really some limitations for ChatGPT. So, you know, there, there were a lot of mistakes. Many formulas didn't work uh, exactly how I wanted them to work. And I had to make a lot of like, uh, adjust, uh, adjustments. So I realized that you know there are some use cases where ChatGPT is really useful, but be aware that there are also many use cases where you should work on Excel on your own because that's more efficient. So what's my conclusion? What's my recommendation for you? Do you still have to learn how to work with Excel? And the answer is of course, yes, you still have to know how to do that because again, ChatGPT can make mistakes and you definitely need to know how to fix them yourself. So again, you know, you have to learn all of the basic Excel skills. This is still my recommendation, but the good news really is that you can uh, use ChatGPT as a kind of support, as a kind of assistant in order to solve these really, really complex issues. And it will save you a lot of time, especially if you have these complicated things that you need to do in Excel, then it can really be a great support. But as always, be aware that uh, ChatGPT can make mistakes as well. So always double check do your homework and uh, learn the essential as Excel skills. This is still a basic requirement for consultants. And if you want to learn all the necessary consulting skills that you want to have and that you need to have for your first years in consulting, then check out the link below. There you get a link to my preparation course, to my consulting preparation course, where you learn all the skills like PowerPoint, Excel, organization, problem solving, communication, and much, much more that you need in your first years in consulting. If this brought value to you, then please leave a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. This would really support what I'm doing here. And with that being said, I wish you a very successful day. Hope to talk to you soon. Goodbye, Johannes.